Hello all you great people. Today is a bit of a lonely day. It's like I haven't got anyone to ride with and usually on those days I'd go digging, I'd be building at my compound, but that's all done now. We're still waiting for the airbag. But I want to go riding and I want to take you all along for the ride. So I'm going to go street riding, urban free ride, in Milton Keynes which is where I live. And street riding is probably the the type or the discipline of mountain biking that I'm the worst at. I kind of suck at street because I haven't really done a lot of it over the years but it's really fun and I think the best thing about it is it's relatable. All of you people watching could go and ride your bike, like leave the house and go and find stuff to ride whether it's a curb, a grass bank, a ledge, some stairs. Street is cool, the concept of it I love and I need to do more of it and today I'm just going to go out completely on my own, solo ride, GoPro on the chest, GoPro on the head and take you all with me. So enjoy it, we're going to go and just see what's out there. Let's have a cool riding video, GoPro it up and you can be along with me so I'm less of a loner. To the streets! Oh hi! I guess this is the first spot then, the overflow. It's such a cool little like, well it is literally an overflow, there's a lake there. A lot of my friends have actually learned to 360 out of this because you, you get to land on soft grass. At some point in time they filled the whole thing with gravel and stones to stop people riding it. Some of the true believers have kept it alive and kept this section open. Let's go then. Ooh. Tire tap. Spin. Whoa. I forget how soft the grass actually is. I almost went over the handlebars. Trying to do a foot jam. Oh, it's actually cool riding on your own. You do not need people. Imagine falling in there. I've always wondered how many people have fallen in here whilst riding. I'm going to do a tail whip. Yeah, tail whip. Whoa! Almost crashed. Let's do another one. Third time lucky. I keep slipping my pedals. There we go. Yes. This is great, you get to do so many tricks. I might try an opposite 360. Now let's do regular. That was a regular three. Now we'll send an oppo. Opposite. Might crash. Yeah, I crashed. <laughs> let's do that again. To the left. I'm aiming for the soft grass as well, because, well, you can't blame me. If you're wondering why a 360 one way is so much easier than the other way, it's like writing your name with the wrong hand. No, it's like doing your signature with the wrong hand, even more specific. Right, I'm going to do a backflip. I can't imagine I'm going to have many chances to do a flip today. So I'm going to stick the GoPro on my head, get a backflip done in the early morning. Might feel great for the rest of the day, who knows? Or I might have a concussion. Backflip! Oh, I'd hate to go in there. This is so strange just being here on my own. Aim for the grass. Aim for the soft grass. Here we go. Yes. You have to really pull. I'm going to film it from like in here. And then we can move on to location number two, three, four, five, six, double figures. We don't know how far we're going, but I'll flip it again now. Rolling. Okay, let's head to the next spot. I know a real good one. Uh -oh. Oh, quick! <laughs> Time for a bit of a wall ride actually. Here we go. Ooh. You might have seen this before on my channel, but it's such a crazy thing. 
I actually can't figure out what it's for. It must be like for water off the, I don't know, it's crazy, but you can ride it. It's funny how people who design things like this for towns and cities just kind of get it right for bikes. You just come in, you can ride it left or right. Echo! Oh, it's weird down here. So weird being here on my own. I'm gonna have a few little laps around this, see how high I can get. I guarantee if you go out on your bike, wherever you live, you'll find something fun. Maybe not like on this scale, but it's all out there. It's just pretty cool. Coming in hot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna to attempt to come in insanely fast, pump round the base of this and get all the way up onto the top. I've done it once before in my life and it scared the living daylights out of me. To do it on my own is a bit weird because if I crash down here, it could be many months till the next person comes and rides. What is it for? Anyway, I'm gonna ride it. Let's go out the top of this bad boy and then we'll move on to the next spot. Oh, oh my God. I almost didn't make it, I had to get off. That is terrifying. I almost didn't make it out. I can't believe I almost fell in then. This is so cool. It's just weird being here on my own. I never go riding on my own. I've always had this weird premonition of something going wrong, but I guess you don't need friends. Oh wow. Oh, heavy. Little trolley chink. Oh wow, there it goes. Oh, it's down. <laughs> Sorry trolley. Just spotted my first set of stairs. These will do nicely. <laughs> I think if I bring my enduro bike, I could gap those. That'd be a huge snare gap. It's actually so fun. Who needs friends after all? Oh, wow, my back wheel clipped. And there's no one here. Failed. We're going back for more. <laughs> so many gyms. How did I fit both wheels on top of there? That is tight. This is great fun. I think I should do this once a week. I'll be so much fitter. <sighs> All the bunny hopping is like an actual gym workout. I can feel rain. There's a few spots of rain.
There's one more spot that I've just remembered and I've never been to it, but every time I get the train to London, I see this ridiculous set of stairs. So I'm gonna go and try and find, I'm driving around trying to find it now. If I can ride it before it rains and before it all gets slippery, I'll be really stoked because I forgot that this place existed. Whoa, these are steep. Oh, oh my word, they were steep. Yes. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five sets of stairs. I found them right by the train track. So I properly found these on my own, <laughs> just scouting around. Five, one, two, three, four, five. It's pretty cool. On an enduro bike, double, double, huge gas to flat, or like roll, double, double. There'd be some cool lines. I'm gonna hit them now before the GoPro dies and before the rain gets too much. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, one, two, oh my God, I'm building speed. Oh, oh. <laughs> crazy. That is so bumpy. Forgive me for being so excited, but I never do this sort of riding. There they are. It would be massive to gap into those. It's like six meters probably, but it's, you build speed fast. Like I'm dragging my back brake the whole way. I'm under a dual carriageway. It's so weird exploring these places on your own. <laughs> Oh, no, I just skidded through insane glass. I think it's okay. Well, I'm getting out of there. It genuinely scares me. I must remember to come back to these stairs. I feel like they're the best ones I've got around here. It must be. I'm going back to the van now. It is raining a little bit and I've just had enough fun. I feel like I've explored some spots and maybe there's still some options for future sessions. So next time, enduro bike for sure. Because stuff like this, look. I'll save it for another day when I've got a filmer and a potential paramedic. But this has been fun. Please get out on your bike and do just what I just did. Just go and ride and find new stuff. Some of that I've ridden before, a lot of it was brand new. And it's just cool, it's exciting hitting something for the first time. There's no denying it. You can't argue that that's not fun. Peace out guys, you're certainly all legends. See you soon, nice one.